Uh, hey guys, welcome back to Toolbox is Impatient and opens the Geogun Rising product before recording him doing so. As many of you probably know, I was invited to this year's Zoom call invitational for Bakugan Geogun Rising and the people at Spin Master were kind enough to send me a bunch of product. Unfortunately, no booster packs. I'm just a simple man. All I want are booster packs. What the heck? Anyway, uh, I've already unboxed everything, but uh, I thought I would show off the products that I received uh, and just give give my uh, give my my take on on everything that I got. I'll throw up some cool pictures. Got some cool scans of the cards. I don't remember which Baku course come in which product except for the starter deck. So. <laughs> Someone probably else already gave us that information on YouTube because I'm pretty sure uh, I have received nothing original here. Yay, yay. So the first thing I want to start off with is Darkest Rascal Core. This was the core single Bakugan that they sent me. And a lot of people seem to be getting this. It's a 700 B power, 3 damage, shield fist. Uh, if I recall correctly, it came with a plus 100 B plus three damage to Pyrus Inventus Fist and an Aquas Pyrus plus 400 shield, which doesn't make any goddamn sense. Why are you putting, what, huh? Neither of those faction combos have Darkus. I cannot use, I cannot use either of those cords with this toy. Um, but for Rascal is, is the new Zubal. Uh, he's a cat, she's a cat, for Rascal's a cat. Just looking at the card art versus the toy, Unlike Cubbo, where the art very much matches the toy and it's this funny little bear with a big head, uh, for Rascal is just kind of like a regular Bakugan, doesn't really look like a, a Zubal inspired Bakugan, uh, and that's kind of stupid. This also just like doesn't look like a cat. I don't think I need to tell anyone that this Bakugan is not good for competitive play. It hits 1100 B, uh, 1350 with a magic shield, but you need to borrow someone else's Baku core. It's just not worth it. Don't bother with it. I wouldn't recommend picking this up in stores. On to the ultra single. So the ultra single that I received was Ventus Falcron, who is probably my favorite new starter Bakugan. For those who don't know, everyone but Drago and Nilius kind of dies. They didn't explain what happens other than deep hibernation, but uh, spoilers for the end of Armored Alliance if you somehow watch that show, uh-oh. Looking over his stats, he's just 700 B power, 3 damage, magic shield, fire fist. So he's hitting 1350. He's probably not going to see play outside of big boy evos, and that's like a very strong maybe in big boy evos. You know, 3k is a massive number to hit. You know, it's hitting bigger than Max, Dragonoid Maximus. But in terms of like not big boy evo decks, you probably won't see this guy. There's just a bunch of other Bakugan and Ventus that are better. You got Ray Razu, uh, Ventus Nili's Ultra from Armored Alliance, Ventus Ramparian Ultra, uh, Ventus Fenica Ultra, Ventus Dragonoid Core, still the best. On to the Geogon single. So my Geogon single was uh, Chaos Mutisect? Mutisect? I'm pretty sure it's Mutisect. I don't actually think anyone has shown this one off. And uh, for good reason. He's not good. Uh, he's this funny little egg guy. I haven't figured out how to drop him well enough. I don't like the dropping of the roundness. It's very round at the bottom. And because of that, he just seems to kind of fall off the core that I want to grab. But for one energy, he's 800 B power, six damage, and on a regular green fist, you get plus three frost strike. So you pay one energy and you get to lose the battle. I can do that for zero with ninja gear. So I'll pass. So the starter pack I got was the Aquos Dragonoid Ultra starter pack, who also came with Auralis Falcron core and Chaos for Rascal core. If you follow me on Twitter, or you've been keeping up with me in the discord the past couple days, uh, mm, this pack is good, but for one of the three Bakugan, and it's the uh, it's the white one, the Chaos for Rascal Core. So Dragonoid is a 500 B power, 
2 damage Bakugan, Fire Fist, Fist, and on a Fire Fist he gets plus 400B. So at max he's hitting 1150 and what, 5 damage? You don't want to play this. I don't understand how they made him worse when in Armored Alliance he was 1250 and like not bad at the time, but then still kind of bad. Fusion Force happened. Mm -hmm. Sink, haha. It's funny. No, stop back. No, 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 stop. No, ah! moral of the story don't play him. 1150B is not doing anything for you. You need to be at like. No, it's Orlis Falcron. He's 200B, 6 damage, double shield. On a shield, he gets plus 6 damage. I, I don't think, again, you need me to say this, but this is absolutely garbage. It boggles my mind that they print something like this, that a, someone would look at this and say, ah, this, we will, we will ship this. Here we are, my favorite one. Chaos for Rascal Core. 500 B power, 1 damage, shield helix, uh, but on helix, get plus 600 B. I've classified over 200 species of fish in my career, but if I ever discover one that resembles them, Chaos for Rascal Core. I'll blow my fucking brains out. Uh, so for Rascal hits 1700 B. Zero damage, but who cares? Uh, this is the, the new cap currently. So I'm, I'm excited I got my hands on it. Um, thank you Spin Master for designing uh, such a fucking high B power Bakugan. Thank you for handing it to me, the competitive boy. I post nothing but deck profiles and now I'm doing unboxings. I don't like this. Uh, is Chaos relevant now? Probably not, but Mega Pega, Mega Pega could <laughs> It easily blow up this game because we're getting Aquos Chaos and Pyrus Aquos cards. And that's kind of scary. Um, is it? Is the magic <laughs> key keyword me? Is the magic faction for blue red? Uh, is it? I Z Z E T, not is it? What is it? Oh, I don't know. What is it? Is it is fucking combo hell. Welcome to Arliss Trox, Serpentis Burn, Mega Pega. Yeah! So the five pack that I got had Aquos Viperagon and Darkus Mutasec. So unfortunately, or maybe fortunately for me, I got sent two Mutasecs and a Viperagon. Uh, I really like Viperagon. It's a toy. <laughs> the card is not good. Geogon as a whole aren't good. They really aren't. They delay your team attack. Y you pay, like, the best ones we've seen are pay two energy, get 400 to 500 be ahead of my opponent. That's fucking energy draw. Energy draws a shit card. I'm not gonna do that. It delays my team attack. But anyway, let's look at the, the Viperagon card. He's three energy, 1300 B, six damage. Uh, on a fist, he gets plus 400 B. On a fire fist, he gets plus three frost strike. I don't really know if I wanna pay fucking three energy to get to 1850 B. I don't know about you, but you know, three energy for uh, for plus three hundred B is is pretty bad. This should never see play. Uh, please don't play it. I beg you. Uh, Darkest Mutasect is the next one that we have. This should also not see play. It's six energy, twenty three hundred B, eight damage, Shadow Strike. Uh, it's six six energy. <laughs> That's just way too much. 2300B, okay cool, so I'm, I'm a printed 800B ahead of my opponent. But not for, it's not worth it for six. No thanks. Goodbye, <laughs> Good, goodbye forever. Let's look at the Bakugan. So the first one is Auralis Dragonoid Core. He is 600B, six damage, double helix, and on Victor, you get to scan. Scan is a new mechanic starting in uh, Secrets of the Geogon. And if you've played Magic, it is Scry. You look at the top card of your deck, you get to choose if you want it on the bottom or keep it on the top. So if you've got a flip card that you don't want to draw into, you can bottom deck it. Uh, it just, it allows you to, to, to know what your top deck is. Pretty nice. I like Scrying. Scrying's cool. 
Uh, I don't think there's too many good scry cards right now. There's the Chaos Darkest, zero cost, which is plus 200B in scry. Uh, that's pretty cool. I think that's the best one we've seen. I can't recall all of them. Yeah. Uh, I really like this mold. Uh, I can't say that this Bakugan in particular is worth it though. The next one we have is Chaos Pinsatar. It is a Magic Shield Fire Fist 603. I really like this mold again. I think it's really cool. Unfortunately, 603 Magic Shield Fire Fist isn't gonna cut it. Chaos Trox Ultra is uh, already, you know, 1450. He's got a good Evo, I think. He's my favorite, so mm, maybe biased. Uh, but even then, for Askel, 1700. Uh, Mega Pega, there's Mega Pega. Weak base, but very bonkers Evo. I'd only recommend you get uh, this Pinsatar if you like Pinsatar. <laughs> And then the last one is Pyrus for Rascal Core, and uh, this one's fucking nuts. It's the 1450 for Pyrus, um, might replace Ultima. If you don't have a spare core, it is 400B, 4 damage, on a Magic Shield plus 400B, Magic Shield Shield, for Rascal's effectively 1450, uh, which we haven't seen. And I'm really, really happy. I'm not actually happy. Power Creep is fucking dumb in this game, but. At least Pyrus has a, a, a fair shot now. They aren't having to use Drago or Ultima and pick up another core, even though technically Ultima is still better because it's 1650 or 1400 on a shield. But it's quite possible that you won't be able to run Ultima because you won't be able to get a secondary good core for it. Uh, and in that case, I'd recommend Ferascal. Because yeah, it's, the, it's the funny big number. Okay, so let's just quickly go over all the ability cards other than Geogun that came uh, in everything but the starter deck. So we're going to start off with Chomping Torpedo. And this is just two energy for plus 500B, Aquos action. It's energy draw and Aquos, who, who gives a shit? Uh, next card, we got Searing Strike. This is a Pyrus action. 2 energy, plus 400B. This is just a uh, fucking fire boost. We saw this in Battle Brawlers. Why are they doing this? Why are they reprinting like this? Blah, blah. We got Rage and Claw. It's 4 energy, plus 800B, darkest action. Uh, more, bu more bulk crap. This is not a good card. Uh, it's just 4 for 8. Who, who cares? Ugh. Next we got G-Force Drop. This is a Ventus action, it's one cost, a minus 300B, and scan. This is just power crept wild roar, nature's power still exists, nature's power uh, has to fight for space these days. Uh, there's no way this, <laughs> this card is going in any deck, unless you somehow need to scan, and you just, you gotta do it. Get out of here! Cloak defense, this is a four cost aquos action, scan, and then draw three cards. This is not good. This is like Hyper Fangs or as an action, but I know my top deck. I don't want to pay this much for three cards. I'd much rather play Shen. Flash Attack. Uh, pretty sure this hasn't been shown off. I think this came with the Chaos Mutasect, but this is a two cost, plus five damage Chaos action. This is just Shine from Battle Brawlers or Wing Arrow from Armored Elite, but better. Uh, who cares? It's still a damage booster and I'm not gonna play a damage booster. These cards are ass. Silk Bolt Barrier, five cost, plus 900B and scan. Bad card, I'm paying five energy and I'm only getting 900B. Uh, that's gross. They overvalued scan and chaos. Titanic Fusion Wave Maker, uh, one, why does it say fusion? These are dual faction cards, not fusion cards. Two, uh, this is just fucking Baku Fuser from Fusion Force, but instead of Aquos and Ventus, it's Aquos and Chaos. Three, uh, it's not good. Four, four for a thousand's neat. It's like Wave Slash, but I don't need to play something else. But also, you shouldn't have space for this card, and paying four for one thousand's bad. Sync exists. Blah! Aquos Bright Beams. This is a one cost, uh, plus two damage, and draw one. It's an Aquos Chaos. Why do the two B power boosting factions give you damage on their one cost cantrip card? Card's, <laughs> card's bad. Uh, if some, for some fucking reason, uh, there's some combo deck, maybe, maybe like Oralus Trox would want this if it somehow drops Pyrus for Chaos, but it's not gonna do that, at least right now. 
Final card, Pyru Boiler. The best card in the entire set of Secrets of Geogon. This is an Aquos Pyrus action. Two energy, uh, plus six damage. Yes! Yes! I'm being sarcastic. This card is shit. It's just another damage booster. Okay. We're done. I'm not going over the Baku cores or gate cards because I'm lazy and I don't know which products they come in. All you gotta know is that uh, there's, uh, out of these toy products, there's one plus 100 helix and two plus 650 magic shields. On to the fucking deck review. Uh, let's just get right into it. Probably the thing that most TCG players here are excited for is the starter deck because that has actual cards. And the starter deck that I got was the Darkest Falcron Ultra Starter Deck. Uh, it comes with Aquos Fennica Core, Ventus Sharktar Core, and this is the Scrounge Deck. The best keyword in existence. Scrounge! 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 Uh, let's, let's just open it up. So we got... Darkest Falcron Ultra, the funny little guy. We've got, you know, we've got our, our six Baku cores. We've got our little bundle of cards in the rule book and whatnot, and the Spin Master notice. And then we've got the two core Bakugan that we're gonna just. It's good. It's good. Loud noises are good. I've already removed the little, little funky doohickeys, the plastic coverings for Falcron. Uh, I totally haven't opened this already. Shh, don't tell anyone. So well, let's uh, let's let's dive right in. I don't like doing unboxing videos, but we're just gonna get right into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is start out with the six Baku cores, since I think this is the weakest part of the set, other than like the weak parts of the set. Uh, so we've got one Helix that's just plus 300 B, plus three damage. Uh, this was neat when we were stupid, but even then, like, we used 500 minus ones. Uh, cool. We've got a Darkest Ventus plus 400 shield. Uh, this one's pretty good, you know, just the plus 400 shields are always nice to get. Uh, we've got a plus three damage fist. That's good for Pyrosing. We've got two plus 100B Pyrus Ventus uh, plus three damage fists. Again, it's nice that we're getting uh, the other faction combos that we didn't get in years one or two. And then we've got an Aquos Pyrus plus 400B shield. Uh, pretty simple, you know, pretty neat. Let's just get into the Bakugan, shall we? So first we've got Aquos Fennec Ultra, uh, little funny, little funny fox thing. 400B power, five damage, and it comes with two orange shields. This is like, Battle Brawler stats, but even like n worse. Oh, we haven't seen an Evo for it, but it's not promising, and especially not in in year three, where the power cap is seventeen hundred. <laughs> oh. Ah! Uh, next, we've got Ventus Shark Tar Core. I will say before I go out into the stats, I think the toy mold is cool. I hate the card art. Shark with legs and hands, bad. No like. But he's 600 B power, 4 damage, helix, fist. He's not beating anyone that we already haven't seen. Ventus has a lot of competition for good base form. Uh, cringe Bakugan. And then the final Bakugan of this set, the Ultra, is Darkest Falcron Ultra. Falcron's cool because he's 900 B power, 1 damage, Shadow Strike, Two green fists, which is kind of bleh. Uh, on a fist, he gets plus four damage. Uh, he's neat because he probably goes in Ventus Sync because thanks to Drago giving us a spare core, he's just hitting 1500 B or 1550 B, depending on which core he grabs. Bigger number go burr. With the Baku gun out of the way, let's just get right into the deck. So the first card that we have in the deck at two copies is Deep Dive. It's a one cost action for Aquos. Draw one card and reroll your Bakugan. This is really nice. It's a reprint of Deep Dive from Bakugan Resurgent, but it comes with new art. And then it's updated the word draw. Instead of the word draw, it's got the symbol. I really like these kinds of reprints. I don't like when they just make a new card with the same effect. That's dumb, don't stop doing that. What's your problem? But Deep Dive, it's always nice to see again. The Darkest Hydronoid starter set, I think, came with Deep Dive last, and that only came at one copy. 
Next up, we've got Nilius Annihilator, which is uh, a new card. One cost, darkest action, plus 300B, and then it has the effect, if a scan or scrounge effect allows you to look at this card on top of your deck, you may reveal this to give a Bakugan plus 600B. So this is really cool. It's a super shot for Darkus, which is something we haven't seen. Usually they get one for 200Bs. But in addition, if you're just wanting to get some, uh, some knowledge of the top card in your deck, you can effectively get a Nature's Power on Crack. I would assume you're playing scan cards at one energy. You probably don't want to pay like two or more for scan cards unless it's something repeatable scan but we haven't seen any of that yet uh, overall i like this card i think it's neat next card at two copies is darkest apex this is a darkest ventus card and for one cost you get minus two damage or you give a bakugan minus two damage and you get to draw one so uh another cheap cantrip in in this starter deck is nice to see uh, this card isn't that good. One energy for minus two damage. Kind of smelly. I don't think I'd want to do that. And this is just the opposite of the Aquos Chaos one that we saw earlier. Uh, G-Force Drop. We've got two copies of these. We saw it already. One cost, minus 300B in scan. Uh, a nice scan. Uh, cheap, cheap scan. Cool. Uh, might run it. This, if this is the cheapest scan card for Ventus, it's probably going to be the best, but... The nature's power is already getting pushed out in GR, so it's quite possible that that even this isn't good enough, and I don't think it is. But I can't give my opinions because we haven't seen the full set. I like the card. I don't think it's going to be played. Next, we've got two copies of Chomping Tornado, two for 500B. I don't think anything more needs to be said about it. It's just energy draw and Aquos. Cool. Uh, this card existed and it was better in Shields of Astroia for Aquos. Here's a cool new one. We've got two copies of Darkest Face Bomb, which is a Darkest Action, cost 2 energy, plus 400B, and Scan. And then it's got the effect, Scrounge, look at the top card of your deck. If it is Ventus, you may reveal it for plus 600B instead. This is really cool. I don't think I'm going to play it. I don't like it simply because it's it's two for six like sure i get to know what the top of my uh, deck is but i don't know yeah next we've got eldritch darkest doom i really like the name i really like the art it's a two cost darkest ventus minus 700b so it's pyro obliterator 2 but this one is worse because i'm not adding b to my bakugan i'm subtracting b from your bakugan and if you have shadow strike who gives a shit neat card it's worse than pyro obliterator though We've got two copies of Baku Fit. This is a three cost, minus six energy and scan. And then it has Scrounge. Look at the top card of your deck. If it is darkest, you may reveal it to energize this uncharged. Uh, this is bad. Three for minus six is stupid. Uh, I could already like energetic decay for one for minus five. And even then that's not seeing play. Uh, but this is just a one energy for two stats output. It's got some funky effects, but this isn't the ramp card I want. I'm not going to play this, especially since it requires darkness. Two copies of Cloak Defense. We saw this one already again. Uh, four energy, scan one, and draw three. I don't want to spend four energy on just this. I'd rather, if I'm investing a bunch of energy into drawing, I'd rather do it with Shun BR or something else. Something that's repeatable. Bad card. Ah, here we go. My favorite card in all of existence. And uh, the opposite of Deep Dive. It is Stardox Eye Blast. Four cost, plus 900B, Aquos Action. This is just Ice Wall from Battle Brothers. Yay, I get to run six Ice Walls now. Th that being said, four for nine is... Uh, no thanks. Uh, next, we've got two copies of Ventus Aerial Trick. This is a four cost action. It gives minus 400B, minus four damage. And it's got the effect, if a scanner scrounge effect allows you to look at this card on top of your deck, reveal it to give a Bakugan minus 200B and minus two damage. So if you're scanning, it gives you a shatter fist for Bakugan resurgence. I don't like this card, mainly because I'm paying four energy and it's still four energy for eight stat points, but it's doing the stupid thing of splitting them up. 
Uh, it's also definitely not worth it to put this in your deck just to get the occasional free uh, minus 200, minus 2. That's not nearly significant of a uh, debuff to be worth running. Next we have Lash and Trash. This is a 5 cost Darkest Ventus action. It gives minus 1100 B and it says Scrounge. Look at the top card of your deck. If it costs 5 or more, you may reveal and draw it. Cool. <laughs> Uh, five or more, five or more, that's sync, yeah, yeah! Uh, please don't play this. If I'm paying five energy, you know, there's some better cards I could play with five energy. Y you're just a little bit above the one for two curve, and then on top of that, you have to reveal uh, a fucking c card that costs five or more just to, uh, just to draw that. Don't like this. And then the last action card of this deck is Darkest Eclipse. It's a 5 energy uh, Darkest Ventus action, and it has plus 10 damage, and it's got if a scanner scrounge effect allows you to look at this card on top of your library, reveal it to give a Bakugan plus 10 damage. Again, I think it's the same thing with Ventus Aerial Trick. It's not worth putting this in your deck since it's just a damage boost. Uh, it's 5 energy as well. Sure, plus 10 damage, but Rage and Darkness is 3 energy for plus 10 damage, and that doesn't see play. And then getting some funny, stupid effect that lets me play this for free effectively uh, if, if it's on the top of my deck and I get to reveal that. Not, not even through like a Dan or a, a Dan BB reveal, it has to be Scanner Scrounge. Don't like it, don't play it. Uh, moving on to the flips, we have two copies of Aquos Speed. This is a one cost Aquos flip. It stops Darkest or Ventus. This is kind of just the opposite of Counter Aggression from Battle Brawlers, which was one cost, stop Pyrus or Chaos. This just completes the other two factions that aren't Auralis, since we kind of got the, the one cost, stop that faction in Age of Auralis. Um, it's neat, probably won't play this, I'll just wait for the other zero cost flips that we got from Fusion Force to come out in, in the remaining colors. Uh, we got two copies of Crescent Darkest Nullifier. This is just the same thing as Aqua Speed. It's just the remaining two faction colors. This one stops Aqua or Pyrus. Neat. Uh, these flips never really saw play, uh, and they probably won't continue. No, they won't see play. Here is our one utility flip because for some reason we have to have a utility flip. It is Dark Ventus Disarm. It is a Darkest Ventus flip, two energy and destroy a hero or Baku gear that costs four energy or less. Cool, I, I guess it's like Garganoid's Gaze and Ventus Shred put into one, but it's a flip and that's, that's cringe. I don't wanna play that. I'd rather use my free stop damage flips. Here's our other reprint of this deck. We've got two copies of Repel Outsiders. Uh, I think this is better artwork. It actually has Bakugan on it instead of just fucking plants. But it's three cost stop non Ventus Bakugan. The, the outsider flips are probably just the best easily obtainable cycle of flips since it's just pay three energy, stop five out of the six factions. Uh, overall, I think it's neat. I think it's really cool to see these reprints again. Probably won't be playing this though. And then the super rare uh, flip that we have is called Darkest Treasures. It is a Five energy flip, Darkest Ventus, and it has, when this is flipped, Scrounge. Look at the top card of your deck. If it's a non-action card, you may reveal it and make this cost three less to play, and it stops any attack. Uh, the fact that these new cycles of flips uh, stop any attack is really cool. However, this costs two energy, and I have to, <laughs> I have to get lucky and have a non-action card on the top of my deck. I don't wanna pay two for a flip. I'll pay zero for a flip, though. Designers, please. Just print zero cost flips, please. <laughs> that are good. <laughs> Moving on to the heroes, we've got Shun Bakugan Brawler. He's a five cost uh, Aquos hero, and he just has your Bakugan have plus 200 B. To this, I ask why. Why was this designed? This is worse Everett Ray. Bad, <laughs> terrible card. Next up, we've got one copy of Winton Bakugan Brawler. He's a four cost super rare Ventus hero and he reads, when an effect would reduce an enemy's B or damage, it is reduced by double that amount. Uh, currently unsure if this stacks or not, I need to speak with Gary, but 
I think the effect is fair for the cost. I think it's a cool effect. A one cost minus 1000 nature's power is really neat. However, I'm not gonna put this in any decks. Like you could probably build around something like this, but it's fair. It's a fair card, but I don't personally think it'll see play. Not unless you're building around it, you're just having some fun. And then our awesome rare of this deck is Everett Ray, because he keeps changing his faction. He's gone Aquos, Chaos, and now he's Darkest and Ventus. And he reads, when you open a Bakugan, scrounge. Look at the top card of your deck if it's a non-action card. You may reveal it to give 300B to your Bakugan. Uh, forgot to mention he's 3 cost, but this is just kind of weird Shargo Ronin. You're paying... Uh, three times as much for three Shargo Ronins, and you have to top deck uh, non-action. They cool, I guess. I don't really want to play this. Final card of this deck is the Root of Darkest. This is a five cost, super rare gear, Darkest Ventus, and it reads, if a scan or scrounge effect allows you to look at this card on top of your deck, you may reveal it to give a Bakugan plus 300B and plus three damage. It also gives your Bakugan a permanent plus 500 and plus five. Again, like these effects are cool. Uh, I think ultimately this is probably the best effect other than uh, Nilius Annihilator that we've seen the, if this is on the top of your deck, give a secondary boost to something because uh, it's technically a three cost. Funnily enough, we haven't seen any actual gear reduction cores be printed uh, in any of the products sent out, and that's a little bit concerning, but uh, neat, neat gear. Neat gear, maybe. I don't know. Neat gear. So that's gonna do it for everything uh, that Spin Master sent me. Uh, if you guys liked my commentary or my content and you're not subscribed, uh, please feel free to. I'm very bad at uploading, but I have a lot more content that I have to, uh, I, I, I plan to make within the next couple weeks. I have to review Champions of Astroia because Spin Master was kind enough to, uh, send me a copy to review. I need to make a bunch of deck profiles because that's all I know how to do here. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, I'm on Discord. You can join the WSB server if you'd like. Thanks anyway, guys. I don't know how to end videos, uh, but bye! Ooh.